All right, so uh, so I looked at it a little bit. Uh, to be able to cut this, well, at least with the what I'm gonna be using, uh, I'm gonna be using an angle grinder to cut this. That way it's quick. You can also use a hacksaw if you don't have an angle grinder. Uh, but I'm gonna to cut cut it better. Uh, I need to basically take off the uh, the uh, the uh, turn signal indicators. Um, otherwise, they're basically in my way. Um, so I'll take those off. Um, let's, look, let's look back here. Um, all right. So this this little rubber thing that's holding in some clips. Let's see. Can I move, move those rubber things off? And this this piece comes off, right? Once that comes off, basically your this whole thing is rubber here, so your your turn signal could just actually just pop off, like so, right? like so, right? But they're being held on by these wire ties here. I can't get to them from this side, so I have to basically unbolt these uh, Allen heads here to get to them. So I'm gonna do that. Again, Allen head with a little step washer there. Obviously, if you're gonna do this, do this mod. This is basically a permanent mod because you're cutting the plastic, uh, so you can't go back unless you buy another, you know, another one of these plastic parts. Um, and I have no idea how much one of these costs, but realistically, no, you know, nobody likes this thing. It's, 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 you know, it's it's sort of a government thing. It's a it's a dot dot requirement to have to have all the the. Uh, Reflectors and and the turn signals to have a certain width and all that stuff apart, etc. etc. Et you know, you could, they could have just put this somewhere else or whatever. And anyways, it's just it's just kind of a, a government regulation thing. Most people don't pay attention to that, including me, I guess. And that's to keep you safer, to keep the rider safer, so it's so you're more visible to the uh, to drivers. Same thing with this side. I took this little rubber piece, slide this down a little bit. Now we got some space. Um, actually, from this side, you get basically push those little wires out for the the uh, the wire holders. Now this one's a little bit harder to push out. It looks like a kind of a it looks like that other one like up here. For some reason I'm having a harder time pushing it out. Uh, maybe this wrench here. Just to push it out from the side. See what happens. Nope, that didn't work. I'm gonna try my little flathead screwdriver here. See if the flathead screwdriver could kind of release those tabs a little bit, just push the tabs in. Oops, I got it, got it. nope, wait, missed. Nope. Man, this is a lot harder than the other ones. What the hell? Why did I say hard? Um, let's see. I don't want to, I don't want to damage these things because these, these are what holds the uh, cables in place. You don't want to damage them. I'm not sure if I'm blocking you guys' view or not. I probably am. You probably can't see what I'm doing, anyways. Oh, oh come on. Oh, come on. So 
right there. Literally right there. Man, what the hell? Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah. Oh. Like I'm gonna cut myself again. Take this thing off a little bit. Sort of, kind of have it off. I can't quite get it off. Let's see. Try one, one, and one side at a time. Pushing one little, just these tiny little tabs. I don't want to just pull on it because they'll they'll rip out and and all of a sudden they won't work anymore and then this thing will be useless. That's why I wanna. Do it so that I could reuse them. Cause these things are actually meant so that they go in and, and that's it. You know, you're not really gonna take them apart unless you're doing something to replace this thing or whatever. There it goes. Hopefully it's not too chewed up. Okay. How bad that is, man. That's pretty chewed up. I'm not sure if I could still reuse that or not. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's a directional. The piece is directional. It goes in easy, but it doesn't go out easy. You know, it's, it's basically it's like a barb. It's uh, it's barbed is what it is. So that's why it's so difficult. You know, it's just held by one barb on one side, or actually on both sides. So the best thing to do is kind of push it in a little bit, or push push it in from the back side. Push this thing in from from the back side gives you some slack then you can push the barb into the hole push the barb into the hole then it pops out there it goes okay, that one's okay, that one's still on tap the other one's a little chewed up all right so we got the this bracket off set that aside so, uh, pull your uh, pull your signal lights out so you have plenty of space to work. Again, you don't necessarily need to do this, but when you give yourself more space, it's a lot easier. Okay, so here I am. Had the part off, so now I need to basically cut here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, I'm not just gonna eyeball it and cut it, because that's kind of, you know, that's, I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think that would be a very good way of doing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually, um, I'm gonna actually take some tape and tape tape my line, and I'm, so I'm gonna follow the cut of the tape. So I'm gonna stop the camera now and, and tape this up, and uh, show you guys when when I when I finish done taping it. All right, so stay tuned for uh, the next part. 